going to be my eyebrow montage from January to February. Roll the clip! people it is me Mana Vang and welcome back to my channel I'm just gonna go straight into it I have my notes I have my phone I have everything prepared now I just need to tell you guys how I grew up my eyebrows because initially I had thick eyebrows because thick eyebrows just run in my family because look at my dad's eyebrows thick by the way doesn't my dad look so much like Jackie Chan my eyebrows looked like this two years ago in 2016 and it looks really sad I barely had eyebrows it grew eventually like it was fine but then earlier this year of 2018 i realized that my eyebrows were starting to look like that again like it was literally at the point where it was like thin or non-existent this is january 16th of 2018 and this is what my eyebrows initially looked like and as you can see it's um pretty sad it's it has a shape kind of but it's just not full and I realized that I wasn't really happy with my eyebrows. And so I decided to, you know, let it grow, change it up. Here are my eyebrows in January. And then here's my eyebrows now. Yeah, there's a big difference. And I'm going to show you how to grow out your eyebrows. So this is what my eyebrows look like with makeup on. And then here are my eyebrows without makeup. And, you know, there's, that's what it looks like without makeup. <laughs> Step one, don't pluck your eyebrows. Throw away your tweezers for about a month and just don't pluck your eyebrows. And this is really hard because sometimes you get those annoying eyebrow hairs that are literally right there and you just don't want it there. But seriously, if you keep on plucking your hairs, it'll just never grow. Frequent plucking can permanently damage the hair follicle. So if you keep on plucking your eyebrow hair, your hair follicle could get damaged. And then when the eyebrow hair does grow back, it'll grow back thinner and paler. Tip number two. I think I said step number one but tip number two use castor oil because it prevents hair loss and it promotes hair growth castor oil contains a large amount of ricinoleic acid which is one of the essential amino acids required by the body it penetrates into the pores of the skin and the hair providing nourishment for the hair follicles which will restore hair growth and it'll prevent shedding from existing hair follicles which is what you will want when you're growing out your eyebrows. When you apply the castor oil onto your eyebrows, you just want to massage it into your eyebrows and you know, just let it get in there and you just want to massage it. <laughs> and I suggest laying a towel over your pillow so your pillow doesn't, you know, get oily and dirty. Just do that every single night. Buy the natural castor oil. There are some other castor oils from like Suspicious Shop that is just not good at all because it can contain dangerous chemicals and we don't want your brows to contain dangerous chemicals so just that's canceled sis canceled but you can get natural castor oils from stores like walmart walgreens or that's where i got mine i got mine at walmart and um you can also get them at a naturals food stores like akins i really love akins you can buy jamaican black castor oil the only difference between jamaican black castor oil and natural castor oil they're both natural first of all it just has a different color to it and it has like a darker appearance to it that's the only difference but they both work really well i personally use natural castor oil from walmart but of course you can get it anywhere else just don't get it from like a suspicious store also another difference is that the jamaican black castor oil is more expensive and it's usually found online this is what mine looks like um castor oil it can have a yellowish appearance to it or it can be colorless it works well so i got this from walmart because I don't know, I just got it from Walmart. Tip number three, look at your family genes. Sometimes growing out your eyebrows and making it thick is really hard because of your genes. If your parents have extremely thin eyebrows and the majority of your family have extremely thin eyebrows, then don't have high expectations if you have thin eyebrows or if thin eyebrows run in your family. Don't expect your eyebrows to grow out extremely thick because that'll just ruin your happiness. Girl, your eyebrows are already bomb, okay? It's already bomb. You just need to make a bomber, which is why you're watching this video. My dad has thick eyebrows. It's easier for me to grow out my eyebrows and probably a lot of other people, maybe other people have overplucked. 
like if you just naturally have thin eyebrows then embrace it that's just something you should be aware of when you're growing out your eyebrows tip four Take biotin pills. Biotin is a water soluble that is part of the vitamin B family, which plays an important role in the health of your nails, skin, and hair. Keratin is a basic protein that makes up your hair, skin, and nails, and biotin helps improve your body's keratin infrastructure. There's only limited evidence to help support the statement that increasing your intake of biotin pills can promote hair growth, although there has been research that has supported that statement and so you know what i'm gonna just roll with it you can talk to your doctor about the right daily intake that you should have you're probably already getting the daily recommended amount of biotin from the food that you eat so biotin pills is not necessary but it is an extra something to help make your hair grow your eyebrows grow your skin to be clear your nails grow i don't know it's all that good stuff. It did help my eyebrows and help my hair grow out. If you want a little bit of oops, a little bit of extra something, then I suggest buying biotin pills. The one that I got was from Aikens, which is a natural food store, and it was about twenty dollars. It was around twenty dollars. Tipo numero cinco is eat more biotin rich foods. So if you don't want to take pills, then you can take biotin rich foods and those include organ meats like liver, kidney, egg yolk, meat, sweet potato, whole grains, onions, nuts, bananas, mushrooms, cauliflower, salmon, tomatoes. You can take a screenshot right here. You can search up more biotin rich foods if you don't like these, but these are some biotin rich foods that you can eat to grow out your eyebrows. Eat these foods raw or consume minimally processed dishes because heat can reduce biotin's efficiency. Tip number six is the most important tip and it's time. This is the most important tip because it's not possible to grow out your eyebrows in a week, honey. I suggest doing a challenge where you don't pluck your eyebrows for a whole month. That's what I did. It's safe to say that it takes about two months to fully grow out your eyebrows if you don't pluck them. And those are all of my tips. I think they're pretty basic. I don't know. I haven't watched any other eyebrow videos, but um, hopefully they're not basic, but that's realistically how I grow up my eyebrows. That is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. Big shout out to Mainly Losers. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. Subscribe to my sisters and I's channel. The subscribe button is down there and also don't forget to hit the bell button so you can be notified every time we post a new video because we are bouncing back this summer. Also, don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias. My Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat will be linked down in the description. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!